you very much for coming. Um, my name is Penny Ryan. I've um, sort of de facto become um, a campaign organiser to save art and tape. It's not exactly the, the role that I thought I would be having as a third year art student at Meadowbank. Um, and I want to, before we even get any further, just also really thank Damien Minton for stepping in and so generously allowing us to use his gallery tonight. Um, <laughs> So as I said, I'm a third year art student at Meadowbank and until six years ago, um, I guess the world of the visual arts was a closed book to me. Art was not part of my schooling, I had a standard education here in Australia and I've no, no memory at all of ever making a drawing or a painting or attempting any artwork as a child. As an adult, I always felt completely at a loss. I've got a lot of artist friends. Um, so clearly I must have been, had some hankering and they'd show me their work and I'd look at it and I'd think, oh, I have no idea what I'm meant to say or how I'm meant to respond and I felt intimidated. It felt like a lost language to me. And so I definitely went to art galleries but my main experience there was to feel alienated and excluded. I suppose I believe that art, um, there were two kinds of people in the world. There were the creative ones and the uncreative ones. There were people who were born to be talented and artistic, and then there were rest of us like me. But about six years ago, I was on holiday in Europe, and this all changed. Something struck me in the Mirai Museum in Barcelona that allowed me to glimpse into that elusive language of art and opened up the possibility of making art myself. So back here, I did a couple of NAS short courses, and somebody mentioned Meadowbank and encouraged me to apply. And I have to say my life has been transformed in the last three years. I quit full-time work, we sold our house um, in order to allow me to work freelance and I spent all the time I could engaged in making art and learning about all the things that I had never done as a child. And I have to say I've had an incredibly privileged time. I feel like I've had the biggest piece of joy handed to me each day I go to the Meadowbank. Um, not so much the last, <laughs> the last few months, but up until then, I've had some of the most extraordinarily talented artists and impassioned teachers, and some of them are here tonight, and I just want to thank them um, for the, who they are. Margaret Ackland, I have to say, was an inspiring drawing teacher. Um, I had Sandra Lenz as a wonderful sculptor teacher. Elena Howe opened up a whole lot of art history to me. Jeff Clean has been terrifically supportive this year in terms of photography. Um, and I'm sure I'm leaving out people who are here, but I just want to say it's been totally fantastic. Because they, what they said to us right from day one was, you can be an artist. They didn't start treating us as a hobby course. They said right from day one, you have to have an expectation that you can be an artist. And that's what it gave me. So I started having that expectation. And I looked around at who else was in the room with me in those art, art um, classes. And I guess what I got was enormous enrichment because there was a huge diversity of people. There were people from 18 to 70. There were people who had master's degrees in visual arts. There were people who had never got past year 10. Um, there were people who couldn't speak very much English but were incredibly good at being able to draw, to paint, had inspired thinking. Um, and I guess I just felt like that's who art, art should be for, it should be for everybody. And I, I thought back to my own um, exclusion up until this point, and I guess that's what's made me passionate enough to say TAFE is worth saving, because TAFE is actually about giving everyone access to art that doesn't, well, you don't have to be rich, you don't have to be educated, you can actually still find a voice through art um, at TAFE. 